Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having an absolutely fantabulous day, and if you're not, I hope that this video will make it even just a little bit better. Something that I've loved doing for as long as I can remember is looking up cool glitches in some of my favorite games and getting creative with them. So I think it's about time for me to contribute to that. So join me as I show you some fun bugs, glitches, and game-breaking skips that you can do in Geometry Dash. Hey, uh, speaking of glitches, is anyone noticing anything a bit odd? Whoa! I'm in Animal Crossing now! Yay! So the first glitch I'll be showing off is a pretty simple one called the Spike Clip. This can be done at any speed with the cube and robot game mode. All you have to do is jump in such a way that you land on the top left corner of a block with a spike on it, and then jump again. There aren't many uses for this, but you can still do some crazy stuff. This works because since the spike's hitbox is smaller than the block underneath it, there's a bit of space you can squeeze into on the corner of the block. But what would happen if we took that glitch even further? Introducing the wall jump. Instead of clipping into a spike, by using a really precise timing, you can actually clip into a fully solid block. Then simply jump again, and that's it, you've done a wall jump. This can be done at one time speed, but it's really difficult, so I'd recommend using half speed. This works for a similar reason to the spike clip, since they're already so similar to begin with. You see, the hitbox for colliding with block is a lot smaller than the actual cube itself, so because of that, we can collide with the wall for just a bit of time without dying, and using that, we can just barely jump off the top of a block. Although, again, this glitch is a lot harder than the spike clip. So here's an easier glitch, called the wall clip. For this one, you'll need to be in the ball game mode at any speed. All you have to do is flip in such a way that you graze the corner of a wall by just a little bit, and then flip your gravity again. This works because of a much smaller glitch called the wall flip, where if the ball collides with the ceiling after bouncing off of, say, a pad for example, you can actually flip onto the ceiling. So using that, we can just barely clip into the corner and flip while still touching the ceiling. Okay, we've had some more mundane glitches so far, but what if I showed you something absolutely insane? This glitch is called the Crash Trigger. By using this specific setup, you can actually crash your game at any time in any level. I'd rather not explain how to make this since I'm probably gonna mess it up somehow, so I have a video by Floridian Castell in the description about how to make this. Alright, here's a really fun glitch to mess around with, although you'll need to have Deadlocked Unlocked in order to do it. That was a mouthful. Deadlocked Unlocked. Try saying that five times fast, jeez. During the first cube part, with some insane mashing skills, you can actually skip the cube portal and use the mini wave throughout the entire opening of the level up to the ship. For this, you'll 100% want to use practice mode, so you can spam checkpoints enough until you eventually make it through. This works because of a combined effect of what I like to call hitbox shenanigans. The tiny hitbox of the wave is combined with the already tiny hitbox of the spikes, and it allows you to just barely fly over the cube portal. The next glitch is probably the most well-known one in this video, the Robot Super Bounce. This can be done with the robot at any speed. While bouncing off a jump pad, with a very precise timing, you can actually jump on the same frame that you collide with the jump pad, causing you to fly really high. Surprisingly, this actually has a lot of uses. Have you ever been looking at the text in a custom level and thought to yourself, this looks way too normal, if only I could mess it up somehow? Well, person that probably doesn't exist, it's your lucky day, because with this bug, you can. By placing a text object, deleting it, changing the font, and pressing undo, you can get this thing. Unfortunately, this only works in the editor though, so you won't be able to see this in the level. This works because every font in the game is actually stored on something called a sprite sheet. It's basically just a sheet of different images that the game will switch through based on what it needs. So, after switching the font and undoing, everything about the text changes except for what the positions are on the sprite sheet. So because of that, it's using the position data from the wrong sprite sheet. And because, of course, the positions for every letter are different based on the sprite sheet, this happens. Okay, so remember those four spike jumps in Polar Guys that you're supposed to use a jump orb to get over? Well, what if I told you that with a very precise timing, you can actually jump over all four spikes without using the orb? This needs to be done by landing right in front of the spike and then jumping again, due to a bug in the game's code that makes you jump higher after first landing and then jumping again. Well, at least I think it's a bug. I couldn't find much info on how this actually works. Next up, we have the saw clip. This can be done in the spider game mode at any speed. Simply flip gravity right at the edge of a mini saw, and you'll find you can stand on it? This is caused by... actually, why is this caused? The hitbox seems to be perfectly fine, and there's no sort of ground hitbox anywhere. Yeah, I have no clue why this works, it just kinda does. Hey, so remember those clip glitches from earlier? Yeah, so as it turns out, those were just a tease of what you can do with walls. Introducing the wall phase. By using a setup like this and hitting the blue orb, you can actually travel through a solid surface instead of just going a little bit into it like the previous ones. Just like the last one, I have no clue why this works. Hey, so remember those clip glitches from earlier? Yeah, so as it turns out, those were just a tease of what you can do with walls. Wait, didn't we already do this? By making a setup like this with a ship, half slab, and gravity portal, you can actually phase through an entire block instead of just a slope. 
Just like the last one, I have no clue why this works. So, you know that one really cool trick that pro players use called straight flying? Yeah, well guess what, I'm better at that than all of you. I can go in a perfectly straight line without even being in the ship game mode. And you can too, with the Roblox- Roblox? What? And you can too, with the robot straight fly. By making a setup like this, with H blocks placed on the blocks to the left and right of the spikes, you can fly through this corridor perfectly straight. This happens because after hitting the ceiling, your upward momentum stops. But after you get out from underneath the block, it doesn't start up again, so you're just kind of left there, flying forwards. Alright everyone, those are all the bugs and glitches I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of this Animal Crossing style video, I wouldn't be opposed to it, but I personally like to think of this as more of a one-off thing. But hey, maybe I'll do this sort of thing again. Anyways, until next time, bye! Did an actual real life peace sign there. Nobody can see me. What am I doing?